Well, Joe Piggott, that's four goals in five games for you. Take us through that vital win and goal. Um, yeah, it was a huge, huge win, uh, especially how he defended yeah. in the last 10 minutes. It was uh, back to the wall stuff, but um, yeah. you know, that's what we do, and uh, we grinded it out, thankfully. A lovely finish from yourself. Um, is that something you've been doing in training a lot as well as in games? Um, it's just something I always do, try to yeah. do in training and yeah. replicate, and thankfully it paid off today. Yeah, and what's changed? It's some score and run you've been on since uh, you know the start of the season. You've really picked up recently. Uh, nothing's changed really. It's just yeah. this goal score, goal scorer is a light really. Yeah. Um, you know, you always hit patches of form, and you go on droughts, and that's just that's just yeah. the way the game is. Yeah. And sum up the team performance today. It was a, a lot of spirit out there, real fight amongst the boys. Yeah, a massive fight. I mean, you can just see the, you know the. Images at the end of us all crowded around together, just you know, so happy that we got over the line. Yeah. And just, you know, looking from today's results, it's a huge, huge result yeah. in the end for us. And no game next week. The last thing you want to do is concede a late goal and yeah. you know have that hanging over your head until the next game. So we'll prepare for Burton now and uh, yeah, really look forward to it. Obviously, you were linking up really well with Marcus Force, and now he's had to go back. Was it really important after the gun that we produced the response to show that it's not just all about him? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, when I played with Marcus, my role was, you know, slightly different. Yeah. Um, you know, I tried to bring him into the game as much as I could, and think, you know, Mitch obviously is a little bit different, and yeah. I have to adapt to playing with him. And yeah, no, I enjoyed today and enjoyed playing with Marcus. And shame he got injured the way he did, and yeah. he, he scored, you know, loads of vital goals for us. Yeah. But yeah, no, moving forward, we've got. A, Got to build relationships and um, you know get as many goals as we can. Lerone Richards was here, um, boxing champion. I believe he came in the changing room. Did you, did you meet him and yeah, no, have a few no, words? We, yeah, we met him, had a few pictures of his belts and stuff, which was nice. And uh, yeah. yeah, the lads are pretty chuffed to see him. Yeah, and he was also kick racism out of football today, kick it out and the fight against discrimination. How important is that for the club and football in general? Yeah, and obviously it's massive. Yeah. And um, yeah, we should do it more often, really. And um, yeah, no, it's huge, huge. In terms of matters on the pitch, uh, Mads at the back as well. What do you make of his debut? Display? Yeah, I, th I thought it was a brilliant debut. Yeah. I mean, coming in against the best attack in the league and yeah. to play like he did, it was magnificent. Yeah. yeah, all three of the back th back three were. Um, you know, that's ultimately what won us the game. You could sense what it meant to the fans at the end there when the final whistle went. went. What does it mean to you to give them a big victory start of 2020? Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely huge. I mean, so that game really sums up, you know, being a Dons fan, I think, and yeah. a Dons player, the way we stuck at it. And, um, yeah, the last 10 minutes were hectic and yeah. absolutely grinded it out. Yeah. And we're certainly in a better position than we was this time last year in terms of points. What can this do now for the rest of the season? Um, like the gaffer's been talking about, really, we need to start looking looking forward and above us and, uh, you know, who knows where that can take us. We've just got to build momentum like games today that we've shown and, um, you know, just carry on building a run.